It's the middle of August and it's 9 o'clock in the morning. It's already 80 degrees. So it's going to be a hot day today and that's a little challenging. But the nice thing about birding in August is you really have kind of the core birds that are here year round. It's funny because I'm standing in this little grassy area next to the parking lot and already I've heard um, a couple Nettles woodpeckers and I can hear bush tits in the tree right up behind me. There's a swallow that just flew over. Um, I've seen already four or five bluebirds and of course our uh, black Phoebes. So uh, there's lots here to see and let's go around and take a look. Okay, here's a western bluebird. It's just checking me out. Catching insects on the grass. There's a bunch of little bush tits up in the sycamore on the seed balls. One of my favorite things about this park is that it runs along the Santa Ana River, which is really great for the wildlife. So we've taken a quick tour around the park to see what birds we could see in the park environment. And now we're gonna go out over on the river trail and we're gonna see what birds we can see along the river. Okay, this is the Santa Ana Riverbed Trail. Um, you can see there's a bike trail here and the bikes go flying by here really fast. So you just gotta stay out of the way. Um, and the freeway is right there. So it's very loud here, but it really is a great place to find birds. All this brush and everything in here, and you can just walk down the trail, and you're just bound to see all kinds of good stuff if you keep your eyes open. So this little waterway where the water's actively moving over the dam is a really nice place to see birds. Um, they like the running water for fishing and also it's just a little more open so it's easy to see the birds. So you can see over here, hopefully you can see it on the camera, there's a, a green heron just standing out on the rocks. So over in the waterfall, there's a still rushing past is really amazing. Okay, down on the edge here, the water's edge, there's a gallinule. In the last couple weeks when we've been here, there's been a family of them, so we've been seeing way more of them than we normally see. wading birds that are along in here. You also want to make sure to check the shoreline because just on the rock side um, that's usually where you'll find the spotted sandpiper, the Phoebes. Um, also there's a little culvert back over here and the culvert is where a lot of the birds who make mud nests will nest in the spring and early summer. So there's lots of Phoebes around in here nesting um, and also uh, the barn swallows. We saw a ton of barn swallows in here earlier this year. Right now it's pretty quiet because most of them are, are done with their nesting season. But you also want to ch check the edge 
on the far side because it's kind of open along here. It's where a lot of the dab dabbling ducks will hang out and also some other waders like the snowy egrets. starting to sweat like crazy so I'm gonna just walk down a little bit more and see what we can see down in the channel and then I think I'm gonna call it a day beautiful great egret beautiful great blue heron like dinosaurs. Here come some of those really fast bikers I was telling you about. Look what I found on the side of the trail. So I hope this has been a good introduction to finding birds. Get outside, enjoy the outdoors.